to say I got over anxious would be an understatement. So on the video that I posted today about how to modify your Japanese version of your FT897, for the nine people that watched that, I hope you didn't do anything because as it turns out, there is a difference in the boards and the uh, correct instructions would be these ones that are from Yesu about the FT897. So it turns out that the jumpers are in different order on the 897 and that you have to connect JP1001, JP1006, and JP1008. And because it's difficult probably for you to read, let me see. Um, should be there closely. So they are ordered three, two, one, six, five, four, nine, eight, seven. And you need one, six, and eight. So I hope you didn't watch the other video, but nine people did. And uh, as it turns out, it does work, but be prepared when you do it, that the last step is when you're fully assembled, turn on the power whilst holding the F and V slash M buttons, which resets all the memories. So you have to unplug your tuner because in the tuner instructions, it says don't connect it until you've set up option, I think it's 20. So I pulled the tuner wire out while it was powered down. Then I went through the tuner setup, which is, uh, if you haven't got that, there's a, uh, what do you do? You have to change uh, menu number one to on, menu number 20 to tuner. And then, uh, let's see, menu number 85 to tuner before you turn on the tuner. So once I did that, I set the power back to five watts and I set the keyer speed back to 15. And the cool thing is, let's see, we'll get the little man going here for high speed. We'll tune up. So it used to above 7,100 give me an error like TX error for either trying to use the tuner or trying to use the key. So we will, let's see, first we'll try the tune and we'll listen for a moment first. And I guess we'll prove that we're there by doing this. And nothing heard there. And then we'll try out the tuner. And that does its thing. So there's the proof that it transmits above 7100. I haven't checked the rest of the bands yet, but it's a whole lot better than the story I told you before. So again, sorry about that. And uh, if you can find this page from UK Limited 2004 called Modifications, Modica Modification Instructions for Wideband HF Settings, and then uh, that's the result you get. And that's the result you get for uh, shifts. So if you watched it, one of the nine, sorry about that. If you didn't, this works and it's uh, running on the bench. So thanks for watching.